Sometimes there are hidden little features on the iPad that rarely make it to the surface for most people. In this video, I'm going to share seven clever tips you may not know anything about. Stick around. You're going to love this short little video. Hi, my name is Rich and the goal of this channel is to teach you how to use your iPhone and iPad without going nuts. This video is no exception. All of the tips I'm about to cover are very simple and to me, very handy. Okay, let's get started. Okay, the first thing I want to show you is just how to turn a website into a little bookmark app. It is so clever. So let's go into Safari and let's say you're at a website that you like. If you go to the share sheet up here and you tap on that and then you go down and tap on add to home screen and then you can re name it, whatever you want to name it. I'm going to take out this giant name and I'm just going to call it Tool Finder right there and then click Add. Now you've got an app that's a bookmark for the website and to get back to it all you do is just tap on it and you can put it in the dock just like this and you can lump it with other websites too. So if I open up another website, and let's say it's Canva, and now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to click Add to Home Page, Home Screen. I'll click Add. And now I've got Canva there, and now I can drag it and just create a folder of my bookmarks. And now if I want to go to Tool Finder, I just tap on it like this and I'm there and if I want to go to Canva I'm there and this works even if the app is closed so if you'll notice the app is open and it's just created tabs on it but if I close it like that and I tap on it again now I can just go back to Tool Finder just like that and that is so handy and that's how you create a little bookmark app uh, from Safari super handy Okay, the next thing I want to show you is so simple, but it just sort of avoids being detected most of the time, and that's just a swipe gesture. If you're at your home screen like this and you slide up, you can see all the apps that you have open, and you know, you can choose one and then go into it like that. But if you just take four fingers, you can just swipe, just like that. Swipe between the apps that you have open. Again, if you're at your home screen like this and you just want to swipe between apps, just start swiping with four fingers. It's just as simple as that. And that's so handy. I forget that all the time, but I'm going to remember it going forward because it's just too handy, a quick way when you're holding your iPad in your lap to be able to get to something. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is Stage Manager. Now, there's all kinds of videos on Stage Manager and all of this kind of stuff, but it doesn't have to be as complicated as it's made out to be. If you swipe down and open Control Center, you'll see Stage Manager right there. Now, if you don't have Stage Manager in the Control Center, you go into Settings, go to Control Center, and you'll see I have Stage Manager already there, but if it's not there, you're going to go down here and find it and just click the little green plus and now stage manager is up there so when you go back into control center you can just turn on stage manager like that now when you open an app it pops open in stage manager like this and you can just resize it and you can move it and now you've got other apps that are over here too you can just tap on those and it's just instantaneous Again, you can set them to any size you want, just like this. And if you've got an app open, like in this case I've got Calendar, and maybe I want Reminders to be open beside it, you can just go over here, tap on it, drag it, and now you've got both of them open side by side. And wherever that little white curvy thing is in the corner, you grab that and just resize that way. And if you'll don't like that and you want to turn Stage Manager off, just go back into Control Center, tap on Stage Manager, and now it's off. And now you have them in full screen split mode, 
And of course, if you want to close it, you just grab it in the middle, swipe over, and you're back to the way that you used to be. But it's just a handy little tool, stage manager. If you go into an app like Messages and you want to type a message and you put your cursor in the little field, um, now you've got the big giant keyboard up here. And sometimes that's handy. I like the big keyboard. But if you just take two fingers and swipe, you can make that keyboard small. And if you take two fingers, you can move it anywhere you want. So if you want it out of the way of the messages, you know, you can just type anything you want. And that's how you make your little keyboard smaller. And if you want it to go back to the regular size, just take two fingers, swipe up like that, and it becomes big again. Kind of handy. Next thing I want to show you is how to add a quick link to a note. So if you're in a website, and occasionally I'm, I am, I'm in a website, something important I want to remember, at least for the short term, it's not something I want to remember all the time. But here I am in a website. If I swipe up from the right corner, I bring up a quick note, and you'll notice that it's got a little button there called Add Link. And if I tip tap on Add Link and click Done, now I've added a link and I can go back to that website from within Notes. If I open up the Notes app and I'm in Quick Notes, here's the new note I just created. There's the link that I just saved and if I tap on it, it takes me right back to the website that I was in. And that's just a handy little way to add a link to a website. You know, anything you find can be added to a Quick Note and it's so handy. You know, the next thing I want to show you is how to take a screenshot. Now, you may know that you can swipe up from the left corner and create a screenshot like that. And you can save it or do whatever you want with it. But if you notice up here at the top, you've got something that says full page. And if you tap on full page, and now you tap on done, and I'm going to save this to my photos. If I click save to photos, and if you'll notice, this is a big, long web page right here. If I go into the Photos app and I open that screenshot I just took, now it looks kind of long, but if I just zoom in like this, now I can scroll all the way down through all of the sections of that website. Just like that. So you've taken a full page of the website by swiping up like this and then choosing full page and that's it that's pretty handy okay the last thing I want to show you is just a photo widget so if you tap and hold on your home screen and you hit the plus and you go down to photos You've got a bunch of widgets here, and this says Featured, Featured, I don't even know what Featured means. But if you go over to Album and you swipe, you can actually put an album there. So I'm going to put this widget on here, and I'm going to edit that widget. I'm going to edit it, and I'm going to choose as my Album Scout. And now, when I want to look at Scout, I just tap on that, and I've got all of the pictures of Scout. But what makes this really cool is that you can create a widget stack with different albums that you want to use. So again, if you tap on the home screen, hit the plus button in the top left, go to Photos, go back over to Album, and I'm going to click Add Widget. And now I'm just going to take this widget and I'm going to tap it on top of that. And so now I'm going to edit that widget. I'm going to edit photos. And yeah, I think I am going to stick with, well, I think I'll change it to desks. So now I have an album of my various desks and I can scroll through those. Or I can scroll down and open an album of Scout. So it's a great way to just put your photo albums on your desktop so you can quickly get to the pictures you want to look at. Really, really handy. I hope I didn't roll through those too quickly. These little tips just make using the iPad so handy, especially turning a website into a bookmark app. I think that's so cool. 
Okay, that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.